So the final race of the day two then is the Scottish Grand National. And a good big field for this one. A four mile grade three. And at the top we've got Solo Blanc for Craig Allen. National Nightmare for Joshua Sutherland. R. Ben for David Hooley. Bryce Norton, Darren Thompson. Blue Penny, last week's Grand National winner. Trying to do a red rum and win the two in the same season for Martin Liddham. Sal's Beauty for David Hooley. Inquisitress Wink, Craig Allen. Close nosed David Robertson. Eyes of the World, Leon Van Rensburg. Napa Pajiri Ray, David Robertson. Opponent's Advantage, Darren Thompson. De Bancherman, Alex Cherry. Labanese, Craig Beckwith. Bold Ransom. Paul Rhodes, Set the Trend, Paul Rhodes, Thracian, Lampgram, Clutterbuck, Inflation, Stamps, Too Grey, and Ali Oscar Hall for Alex Cherry. So 18 then in the second Grand National of the day. They're away and racing. It's raining. It's a very short run to the first. And they've all got to the other side of it with National Nightmare, the early leader from the Paul Rhodes pair, Bold Ransom, and Set the Trend. In comes Thracian Lamp and Inflation Stamp after that one as they get over the second. I wanted to write down on their nose there, including the purple jacketed R. Ben closest to us, didn't jump in at all well. And they've got 25 fences to take in all in this, and they'll need to jump a little bit better than they did at the first two if they don't want to get round. And over the next they go, and last week's Grand National winner, Blue Penny, is the early back marker, but it set the trend, who is in the lead from National Nightmare in second. And Bold Ransom is third, Thracian Lamp is fourth. Then comes Opponent's Advantage and Inflation Stamp. And then Labanese after that one. And the Alex Cherry pair running together. Ali Oscar Hole and the Banshee Man with Eyes of the World on the inside. And then Bryce Norton and Inquisitress Winkers, they take the fourth. Which they're all safely over. And they're all still on their feet. Solo Blank, the top weight, is at the back. And you can see the top weights are towards about one, three, and five towards the backs. There's a long way to go though, so you can sit quietly. That was a fall on there, and it's a crashing fall for Set the Trend, so Paul Rose's first horse is out, and all of the others managed to avoid him and stay on their feet. But National Nightmare and Bold Ransom as they get to this ditch. And over that one they all go then. There's National Nightmare on the inside. The second top weight from Bold Ransom in second, Thracian Lamp is third, Opponent's Advantage is fourth, and then Inflation Stamp and Labanese. And then the rest of them are in a bit of a clump as they get to the next half. Oh, a back mistake there again by Bold Ransom. The Paul Rose horse is not jumping that well this season. And National Nightmare comes up past the big screen, past the winning post. We've got to go around twice more yet. Thracian Lamp is third. Opponent's advantage is fourth. I think that was fourth in the national last week. Then Inflation Stamp, then Labanese and Debanshire Man. Close noses after that one. Bryce Norton. Sal's Beauties move through the pack a bit. So to his Blue Penny. Ali Oscar Hole. Eyes of the Worlds on the inside. Inquisitor's Wink is next. And Napa of a Jimmy Raid and Solo Blank at the back too as they make this sweeping turn. And race downhill towards the next fence. Bold Ransom and National Nightmare are disputing the lead. They're a good four lengths clear. Well, Thracian Lamp and Opponent's Advantage. In comes Labanese and Inflation Stamp. And Debancher Man. Prize Norton is next. Moved a little bit closer as they take this one on the downhill. And over that one they all go. One or two mistakes. Napa Pajiri Raid was pretty untidy at the back. But it's Bold Ransom. National Nightmare as they get to the next and Thracian Lamp went through that one and there's a fall there it's Inflation Stamps gone so Stu Gray horse is out and Bold Ransom is the leader from National Nightmare second Opponents Advantage third Thracian Lamp fourth in comes Labanese as they take this next ditch and they're all safely over that one with Blue Penny once again relegated to the back Old Ransom leads, National Nightmare second, they come to the 11th. And over the 11th they go, they all jump that one nicely. Some one or two of these are still hunting their way around really. We won't start racing until the final circuit. And it's Bold Ransom who's in the lead at this next plain one. Over it they go, mistake there was by the, well by the grey nap of a jury raid at the back, but also by Craig Beckwith, Labanese, a bit closer to the front. The Bold Ransom, National Nightmare and Thracian Lamp. Those three are three lengths clear of opponent's advantage is fourth. 
Stable mate Bryce Norton is fifth, then Debancher Man and Labanese, and then Sal's Beauty. Then comes Closed Nose and Inquisitor's Wink. And then Ali Oscar Hole, Eyes of the World, Blue Penny, Solo Block. And then our oh, Ben on the outside, and finally the Grey Nap of a Jimmy Raid mistake. That time was Ali Oscar Hole. Plenty of mistakes. It's a grueling race this four miles in the rain. And they've got just less than two miles of it still to go. So they're only just past halfway as they get to number 14. And over that one they all go. I feel just getting a little bit strung out now. As Bold Ransom continues to bowl along in front. Thracian Lamp in second. Over this ditch. Oh, Thracian Lamp's gone. Thracian Lamp's a fall up. So that one's out of it. And it's Bold Ransom in the lead. From National Nightmare, then a gap of five lengths then, back to Opponent's Advantage and Labanese and Bryce Norton and Sal's Beauty and the Bancher Man. Then another gap back to Blue Penny as they take the 16th. And over that one they all go. With Bold Ransom in front. They come past the stand then, past the winning post. Next time's the time that counts. And Bold Ransom will be hoping to make it. Third time, lucky in the lead. It's Bold Ransom in the lead. National Nightmare is in second. Labanese has gone third. Opponents in front is four. And Bryce Norton is five. Sal's Beauty is six. And Debancha Man is seven. And Solo Blank is eight. Now Ben is nine. Then he could just wink and blue penny. And Eyes of the World and Closed Nose. And Nap of a Jiri Raid. And then a gap to Ali Oscar Hole, who's the back mark. We've lost just three of them. And Bold Ransom continues to show the way home. Racing downhill towards the next fence then, with a lead of two and a half lengths over National Nightmare, who's five lengths up on opponent's advantage in Labanese, then Bryce Norton and Sal's Beauty and Debancher Man, then the Craig Allen pair running together, Solo Blanc and Inquisitor's Wink, Eyes of the World and Blue Penny with our Ben, then Closed Nose and Napa Jimmy Ray together as well, and finally Ali Oscar Hole as they get over the 17th, and over the 17th they go, the order remains the same, and it's Bold Ransom who continues to lead by two lengths. National Nightmare with a big weight in second. Opponents advantage third. Labanese four. Bryce Norton five. Over the next they go. And over that one, the chasing pack are beginning to close on the leading pair. They're into the final mile now. And Bold Ransom by about a length and a half to National Nightmare. Then Labanese. Bryce Norton did bunch them out. Over that ditch they go. And they're all safely over the ditch. Ali Oscar Hole getting a bit detached though. And Bold Ransom being driven along again in the lead from National Nightmare in second. Labanese over this next one they go. And over that one they go. They're all over it safely. And it's Bold Ransom continuing to lead from National Nightmare in second. Now moving through into third is Inquisitor's Ring. Eyes of the World's making a forward move as well. Then comes Opponent's Advantage and Bryce Norton. Blue Penny's got a lot of work to do. Over that one they go. Mistake at the back by R. Ben. But it's still Bold Ransom in the lead. And still Bold Ransom in the lead then with forward and jump. And now Inquisitor's Wink comes around the outside. Inquisitor's Wink zooms into the lead from Bold Ransom. Then comes Eyes of the World. Then after that one, his National Nightmare is under a big weight. Opponent's Advantage is next. Then Labanese and Solo Blanc. And Inquisitor's Wink has gone for home with four to jump. It's Inquisitor's Wink in the lead by three from Eyes of the World. Over it they go. They're well clear of Opponent's Advantage. Back in third. Then comes Solo Blanc. Labanese. They've just got three to jump in the Scottish National. It's Inquisitor's Wink. Five, six lengths clear. Come down to it now with a good big lead opponent's advantage is coming out of the pack into second but this inquisitor's wink surely just got to pop the final two fences to take the scottish national is 10 12 lengths clear racing down towards the second last opponent's advantage well back in second inquisitor's wink skips over the second last he's well clear of the remainder and unless he falls at the last he's going to take this one pretty comfortably inquisitor's wink racing up towards the final fence in the scottish national opponent's advantage is getting closer but not close enough i don't think over the final fence, Inquisitor's Wink lands in the lead. Over it in second is opponent's advantage, but Inquisitor's Wink is going to take the Scottish National by a good eight lengths, racing up towards the line. It's Inquisitor's Wink for Craig Allen that takes the Scottish Grand National. Second is opponent's advantage, Debancha Man's took on for third, then Labanese, Napa, Jimmy Raid, Solo Blank, all the way back to Ali Oscar Hole. Blue Penny never got into it at all today. And Inquisitor's Wink. Pretty decisive win. It was 12 lengths clear coming to the last couple of fences and won that on the home turn, really. And it's, well, I left the rest of them for dead, to be honest. And Inquisitor's Wink takes it. Let's take a look at the full 
list of the players. Since in Christmas Wink for Craig Allen from out of the handicap, the winner opponent's advantage for Darren Thompson second. De Banshaman Alex Cherry was third. Labanese for Craig Beck with fourth. All four of them out of the handicap. Bryce Norton for Darren Thompson was fifth. Looking down the field, long time leader Paul Ransom finished a creditable seventh. Enough for Jimmy Rain for David Robertson run on well to be sixth. Um, Look at the other blue penny last week's Grand National winner never got into the race at all. And uh, eyes of the world, a big disappointment, I think, for Leon van Rensburg as that was second turning into the straight and finished 13th. So I don't quite know what happened to that one. And bizarrely, that one was running from out of the handicap as well. So I'm not quite sure what we can do about those sort of things. But anyway, there you go. It's a pretty impressive victory to end day two. For inquisitors wink for Craig Allen in the Scottish Grand National and we'll be back tomorrow with day three.